everybody how are you and welcome back for another boozy stream as we continue with the second night of la noir now before i do that there is something i do have to do and that is to read off the names of all of the wonderful patreon supporters of lawyers and liquor.com in the streams here so to our five dollar and above producers thank you to jeremy wayland roche Beaten, Dozer, Trash Panda, Ada, Brother Fox, Mark, Beth, Bar, Mama T, Netherlinks, Uncle Kage, Dante, PD, Lisa, Lupe, Mark, Phaedrus, Petrov, Neutrino, Sarah, Tentes, Get, Magic, Jag, Tyranth, Brophy, Wolf, Buddy, Good Boy, Esquire, David Hunter, Ed B, Kali, Feck, Ghost, Goat, Grace, Jane, Gallinger, Ian, Delahorn, Mark, Whipple, Michael, Blocker, Pandemonium, Hawk, Pupsin, Sean, Rabbit, The Dragon Show, Ziggy. Oh, shit. There's way too many of them. Oh, hey, folks, and thank you for your third month of subscribing. Sue's here, and we are ready to resume our adventures of Cole Phelps, the 1947 detective who is breaking the law in Los Angeles. Lawless Los Angeles. All right, this is the one with the driver's seat. Is that the one we were in? Yeah, that's the one we were in. All right. Uh, I may not be a little quiet. The, the uh, game may be a little loud. Yeah, that's, that's what it is. The game is a little loud. It's not so much I'm silent. It's the game is destructive. And destroys everything. All of my joy. All of my love. Let me know if that's better. I'm watching the chat. Like, one day I'll figure out how to automatically preset shit so that I don't have to adjust the volume the moment a stream starts, but uh, today's not that day. So fuck you. Oh boy! We're police officers. Here's your new desk, kid. You're on traffic. The hot sheet is posted here, next to the map. What's his problem? That's Biggs. He's an institution. So this is what all the fuss is about. Why couldn't they build a freeway that goes past my place? They haven't even approved the money yet, kid. The bond issue won't be till December. Uh -huh. It'll be years before any of this will happen. Here's this is partner, what I'm here for. Stefan Burkowski. I've heard all about you, Phelps. You go easy on the me and let me know. Intimate discussions of funding we'll of municipal I'm here infrastructure. Huh. Oh, he's an intense one, isn't he, Mel? Who's intense? The newly minted detective here, Cole Phelps. Hi, Phelps. I'll be keeping an eye on you. Is this where we I meet everybody? Spend a little time basking in reflected glory. Broccoli, thank you very much, much for your 30th month things. in a row of subscribing. What the hell is wrong with you? By the way, if you do like the shit we do Who here, you can always that? toss your bits just Chief all up in my face for we are Twitch affiliates. Like subscribe using Twitch Prime or Amazon Prime. Go to boozybadger.com or streamlabs.com slash boozybadger. Check out our merch or slide a tip into the bank account. Just the tip, though. I don't want to get pregnant. Or you can go to patreon.com slash lawyers and can become one of our monthly supporters. That said... Now some housekeeping. Warm Central Division. Welcome for Detective Cole. <gasps> Is there cake? Some no. They're Phelps sarcastic the clapping. Jewelry store murder. Stand up and take a bow, Phelps. If it's all right with you, That's sir. That's an order, Phelps. Get your oh, ass up. Quiet, bow. <laughs> Phelps is one of only two <laughs> serving LAPD officers who received the Silver Star during the war. Really gave it those lousy Japanese. Yeah, the forties were problematic. Why are you war heroes always so modest? I've partnered Phelps with everybody's favorite pole, Stefan Bukowski. <laughs> Hope you like work, kid. Bukowski sure as hell doesn't. Well, that's why we have partners, right? <laughs> okay, I, okay, can it, guys? Like, what, uh, Stick was with that Bukowski. a styrofoam cup? He's a good cop. He knows traffic inside now. I'm gonna start you out with one case. Do okay, I'll give you a couple more. You screw up. You'll be rousing vagrants and running license plates. Now get down to the P.E. Freight got... Depot, 6th and Alameda. A patrolman <laughs> called in a suspicious vehicle. Signs of foul play. See what you can find out. Come I... on, folks. Why is this a traffic case? Like, okay, so we got patrol officers just kind of randomly deciding that they're going to, to investigate jewelry store mur uh, murders. They really pushed you through quick, didn't they? We've got Six years on patrol traffic got cops. You were here in five minutes. Just investigating what, what are probably murders. I didn't ask for favors. I just impressed the racist Irishman. As one does to advance in the 40s. Mary says he'll sing. Only if I guarantee he walks. I heard he's not. You know this place? Sure. 
near the old gas works and signal depot in the warehouse district. Okay. All direct. So where am I headed? I'm headed there. I am headed right there. All right. So I am here. So I need to go. This is the fun part where we have to look at a map and remember how maps work because there was no GPS in the 40s. I love the realism in Rockstar Games because it's all about the realism. It's all about stereo. Like, you know, if I play Red Dead Redemption 2, it gives me a bright yellow line to wherever the fuck I need to be. But, you know, apparently GPS was just a 19th century thing. And then uh, it came back for Grand Theft Auto. And in 1940s L.A., you got to read fucking maps. So I want to take first. Looks like up to Alameda. And then I'm going to take a ride on Alameda. And then I'm going to take a ride on 7th. Okay. Well, time to kill some people with my car. Oh, shit. Take the other glass. Tell me a little about yourself, Phelps. Are we friends now? Oh, shit, 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 shit. Don't be so touchy. Wait, there's a dispatch call? How does, how does that work? Oh, it's close. Masked gunman. Oh, I get to kill people, don't I? As, as we all know. That is... Grew up in San Francisco. Fuck! Take yeah. it easy, folks. I'd rather get there in one piece. I'm sure it's fine. I'm a cop. It's okay. Where, where am I going, by the way? Like, okay, I should take a right now on 6th, or left on 6th. Grew up in San Francisco. My father was in shipping. I, I tried the siren yesterday and it did fuck no good. Oh, unbelievable. It's okay, I've got a union. I grew up in San Francisco. My father was in shipping. I've I've got a union. I can Stanford. I can sideswipe a few vehicles. Before Marino CS at Camp Elliott. Shipped out in early forty five as the first Is this Sixth Street? Yes. Bennett? The Okinawa campaign. I was wounded, took back home. Did a year See? on the beat. Now I'm here. So you oh. won the Silver Star. I don't want to talk Let's about it. Let's go. Come on. Now let me get this straight. You single handedly killed 40 Japs on this hill in Okinawa. Can we, like, not say no. that? Can we? You were up there all night, draped in the flag. All units of 159 just occurred at 6th and 7th. Any unit to handle, code 2 identified. I don't know how the fuck I threaded that needle, but I sure as hell did. Up on the roof, officer. He has a mask on his face. I caught sight when he shoved past me, but be careful. I saw him waving a gun. Okay, he has a gun, and I have a gun, so this seems like it should be rather simple. Of course we're going to run in. Because, you know, while it may make sense to fire from a distance, not what we do here. Give it up now. Make it easy on yourself. Can we stop having to run after people? It's the 40s. We can just kill him. Due process wasn't invented until 1951. Well, no one cares about your nose, man. Is somebody going to tell us what the hell is going on? Twice in the back! It's a good kill. Like, I don't understand why we didn't have the option to take this mess. Seraphin, thank you for your 19th month of subscribing. I don't understand why we didn't have the option to take him in peacefully. Like, I, I feel like that was a very roundabout way to get the same result because we probably could have shot the man while, you know, he was on the roof. I, I just feel like that was a roundabout way to obtain the exact same result. Which way am I facing? I don't know which way my car is facing. 
This could be bad. Uh, you could have if you caught up. Yes, I understand that I likely could have, like, tackled this guy. But that involved more running, and my gun was right there. See, we're going for period accuracy in policing here. And why run when you can shoot, right? Why peacefully subdue somebody when you can just fucking kill them? I'm glad that went to a cutscene because I was def definitely about to run over that, that guy in the roadway. Go on through. Parking lot straight ahead. Like that guy. I need to get back to work, officer. The detectives are here now. You repeat to them what you told me. I did the right thing by calling this in. I'm just a working stick. Just give them your story and you'll be all right. Once again, we're back to the uncanny valley. Population me, less whoever I'm about to shoot. This is your first case, folks. It's okay to admit it if you're stumped. It's a I'm fucking car case, Come dude. Come talk to me and... We'll see what we can figure out. Like, this is not going Thanks to be high on the department's Real priority quick. list. It's not like this is a serial killer. Oh boy, let's talk. I'm Officer Hart. Phelps, traffic. What have you got? Abandoned car, probably stolen. The solid citizen is Nate Wilkie. He called it in. What gives with the corner? There's blood all over the interior. Someone's copped a full Broderick, but no stiff as yet. We have an owner for the car? The car is registered to an Adrian Black, <sighs> just north of Bunker Hill. All right, we'll take a look around. I'll keep Mr. Wilkie talking, but don't make him wait too long. He'll He's wait as type. long as I fucking want him to. There is a car covered in blood here. Nice day Personally, I don't think he gets to decide when we're How leaving. Long you go? I better get back to work, sir. Not sure this means much. It's a tire iron, Cole. It's used for the full size spare right there in the trunk. Mr. F. Morgan picked up a live pig. Okay. Yesterday. Well, I pick <laughs> somebody got a live pig and there's blood all over the car. Obviously not related. I don't know why we would even think that, right? Victim looks to have lost a lot of blood. The victim looks to have lost all his fucking blood. Like, the victim appears to have lost some blood. Just a small amount. Brand name might give us something to go on. Or it might not. I, I mean... I'm certain a lot of people have brand names on you guys their stuff. Take your time. No freight rolling through here till we're done. And we're still punching the clock. Oh, a pack of cigarettes. I'm certain I'm that's important. Up. Oh my god. The victim appears to have had an inflation fetish that he took a little too far. Doc, Detective Phelps. Did they what have we got? just say there's no freight moving through and now the fucking signals are going off? I think it must be in a very bad way. Any sign of the guy? Dude, there's Not like three the people of worth of blood in that car. You're a doctor. Do, do you not think you could say something more that victim must be in a bad way? The entire car is coated in blood. Happier times, I guess. <sighs> 32 years old, married. Sounds like an average guy. What was he doing out here? Drugs or sex workers, one of the two. Those are the only reasons to be in a rail yard that late at night. Find anything interesting? Oh, what's this? What, what's, what's this amazing piece of evidence?
Okay. Stenzel glasses. Home repaired by the look of it. Oh boy. But really, by the way, I, I love the fact that 1940s policing just involved touch fucking everything. All right, let's go yell at this guy because we think he's lying when he's Sir, not. I'm Detective Phelps. Name's Nate Wilkie. You found the vehicle? Sure. Saw it just sitting there. Strange place to be parking your car. Figured I'd better take a look. And then I saw all the blood. So I called the police. Mind if I ask what you were doing out here? Well, I, I was on a pleasure way. fucking stroll. I was on my way out to the switch and Are you a real out. detective? Uh, we will believe that. Did you see anybody else in the yard? Maybe somebody hanging around the car? Nope. I hadn't seen a soul all day till you boys turned up. Do you know Adrian Black, Mr. Wilkie? No, sir. That ain't a name I'm familiar with. That's the truth. You ever seen the car before? Funny enough, I did. Yeah, I'm, I'm a fucking a amazing ago, artist. You know, if Cole Phelps lot. had not I'm become a cop, he would have been an regular. amazing furry so it porn kind artist. Of stood out. Look at the sketches. And like he did that in that short of a time car. frame? Do you know anything about it, Mr. Wilkie? No, sir. I went straight for the law when I saw the car was full of blood. He appears to be telling the truth. When you saw the blood, was it wet, bright red, or uh, darker like it is now? Darker, I'd say. Looked dry already. Okay. The wallet by the car. Was there anything in it when you arrived? You accusing me of something? Oh, else? whatever he's about to say is a lie. Look at his eyes. I'm talking about what the fuck was that? You have no poker face, sir. No, but the, like, you're gonna disbelieve me? Yeah. Um, but I have no evidence that says he did it. So. Do you want the patrolman to hold you down while we turn out your pockets? Oh my God, that's not how you do a search. Maybe I checked inside that wallet. That's not how you do a search. Maybe I took a look, but there weren't no money in there. Not even change. Like he looked like a little kid who was crapping his Thank pants. Help, he Mr. really Wilkie. did. He looked we'll like... Contact your like, employer if we need anything more from you. If you have to, I guess. I can't really spend no more time over this. It, 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 Somebody's like, got to inform the wife, Phelps. You're done here. We'll head over there now. You really don't want to let me drive over there. I'm, I'm advising you, at this moment in time, while we are together... It is a horrible idea to... Oh, I can let my partner drive. Well, but that takes all the fun out of it. You know. Okay, so where am I headed? Where am I... Oh, there's another one of those little running men, and it's kind of on my way? So we're going to go there. All right, so what do I want to do here? I want to leave, take a left, go all the way up to third, take a left, follow third all the way up to Marin, take a right, five, take a left on third. Okay. I'm not going to remember those directions. 620 Bunker Hill Avenue. You know where that is? Behind Bunker Hill. A couple blocks north of Central Station. So... What do we tell the wife? We play it by the book. There's no stiff yet, so let's see how it plays out. Fuck you, I'm a cop. The people honking their goddamn horns at me. Like, that's gotta make any difference a... whatsoever. Am I going the wrong way? No. Yeah, I mean, like, sort of, but now I'll just go up to San Pedro, take a right, and then take a left on third. Or I could do this easier and go all the way up to Hill and take a right. I think I'll do that. I think I'll go all the way up to Hill Street, right past Broadway, and take a right. Car theft gone wrong. Make Black drive somewhere lonely, then give him a tap. Out of my way! Why I'm a cop! Well, obviously someone got a little heavy-handed. It's the wrong way around. Well, how so, genius? What the fuck? 
fuck was that? Where is Adrian? If you've gone to all the trouble to steal the car and it goes wrong, you leave the body behind, not the car. Just the tip. There, just the tip. Thank you, Head Foxen, for sliding in just the tip. Oh, my God. That, that, I feel like I should have paid a little more attention to what was obviously an accident you about the going on. Crossing yesterday? No, what happened? Over on Lincoln Avenue. Jesus, Cole. It's good. I'm a cop. Well, we're just going to act like that didn't Over on Lincoln happen. Avenue. This guy's gonna... driving along and his oil light comes on. He stops the car. We're, we're going to act out. like that didn't happen. He pops the hood and. Where am I compared to where I need to be? Oh, I am not where I need to be. Okay, so I need to go up to third. He's on a rail crossing. <laughs> oh, you got it. He's got Fuck! Careful! I am a cop! I can do oh, as much damage it. as I want because I have a union. Southern Pacific freight slams into his car doing 90 miles an hour. Hi! Do you need a police officer? This is 11K. Go ahead with the further. 11K, your 211 is at Angel's Flight, 3rd Hill Street, 11K. Angel's Flight. What took you so long? They're getting away. What happened here, sir? They... They had guns. Dirty louses took everything and then booked. They went that way. The, the, the stairs alongside the track. That's right. Let's run after them. LAPD. Problem solved. Car eleven. I don't even know if those were the right guys. I just turned the corner and shot two people. Code four here, but I need an ambulance. Okay. Well, let's see. We want to go up here now, so I'll just take Olive all the way up to this random unnamed street and take a left at the dead end, then take a right on Gir on Grand, then take a left and take a right. Okay. I hope someone was listening to that because I sure as fuck wasn't. Yeah, just take Olive all the way up and take a left. Okay. Okay, I know what I'm doing. I have no clue what I'm doing. Man, vehicles need to stop doing shit like turning and moving around me. It's certainly an issue. Oh, look, another police car. Where am I in relation to where I need? Okay, so I need to go up to this dead end. Fuck vehicles. Fuck vehicles. <laughs> Fuck cars. Okay. I'm now at her house. Let's see how uh, unempathetically I can tell her her husband's probably dead. Let's go introduce ourselves. You talk to her, Phelps. I'm no good at this shoulder to cry on stuff. Yes, because I have shown Just great amounts of compassion in the short time you've known me. LAPD, Mrs. Black. 
I like May we come in? Matt Cole we Phelps. Bad news he threatens to hold people crime. down and wrecks vehicles on his way to every crime scene. He's killed three people today alone, but he is a bastion of sympathy. Most empathetic cop I ever met. Husband drives a blue Lincoln He's murdered three people today. That's correct. The car has been found abandoned, and I'm afraid there are signs of foul play. I knew something was wrong when he didn't come home. We believe your husband may be injured. We found a pipe on the scene with blood on it. Oh, no. My poor Adrian. Does the name Instaheat mean anything to you, ma'am? Yes, it does. We've just had a new water heater installed. Whereabouts, Mrs. Black? Just outside the kitchen window, at the side of the house. I'd like you to try and stay calm and remember everything that you can about last night. My partner and I are going to take a look around. When you're ready, we're going to have some more questions. My for partner you. and I okay? are going to search your entire home Herself. without a warrant. Anything to help secure my husband's safety. Like, but she did just consent to the out. search, so. Mm -hmm. Have a good look around. There's got to be something in here to go on. <gasps> Newspaper time! Searching the home of a murder victim. Suspected murder victim. We're just going to sit and casually read the paper. Lie down. Make yourself comfortable. I have a horrible southern so, accent. Jesus is on my wall. Yes, doctor. He seems very concerned about you. I have these visions. These blinding visions. I can't get them out of my head. My skull, it, it feels like it's in a vice. I want to give you something to calm your nerves. Okay, so here's where we get to that nice 1940s mental health where they just drug you the fuck up. Just, here's a bunch of medical heroin. Enjoy. I want to take you on a journey. To Disney World. To remember the good things about your past, occasions that made you laugh. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit! If I was on drugs and that face was in front of me, I would be terrified. I there would I would never stop screaming. Like that is not the face you want when you're on drugs. How's this? See, we got to find the balance. The balance between... Between point A and point B here. Kavanaugh's. So who brought this home? Probably the person who goes to the bar. Maybe Adrian was a patron. R and I should have an address. Okay. I'm assuming it's a, okay. So I have to call somebody for an address. What's this? A used ticket to Seattle and a suitcase gone missing. Someone couldn't wait to get out of this house. What's this? What's this? What's this? Ooh, it's a glasses. Oh, there's glasses in it. Stenzel. So the glasses are a match. Yeah, because he is the only person in the world who owns Stenzel glasses. Separate bedrooms. Separate pictures. What gives here? Oh, they're in a troubled marriage. Oh, Adrian's cheating on her. Adrian. This thing gets more and more interesting. How does Adrian get the chicks? He looks like Drew Carey. Like, and not skinny, emaciated, does he have cancer, Drew Carey, but modern Drew Carey.
Operator, give me dispatch. Putting you through now. Phelps, badge 1247. How can I help, Detective? I need an address on a Kavanaugh's bar. I love the Certainly fact that, like, no one's moment. mentioning the... Kavanaugh's bar, corner of Aliso and Hewitt, south side of Union Station. Thanks. No one's mentioning, like, he calls dispatch and there's no mention of, by the way, Phelps, uh, we've gotten a couple calls about a guy in a police sedan running people down. Just, just mowing them the fuck down, buddy. Um, you would not know anything about that, would you? This was only recently installed, not two days ago. Maybe it's time we took a look around outside. Well, I thank you for the suggestion, but go fuck yourself. I am looking at things. I should get one of these for my house. I mean, I'm sure I'm sure my spouse will love it. The Insta Heat Boiler. You know, we know Cole has a spouse because of the very beginning of the game. Uh, you know, they they showed him leaving home in his patrol uniform, and his wife was there, and I'm certain that in true rock star storytelling style, that is literally the only reference we'll ever have to Cole being married. No use leaving the thing half finished. Oh! Oh, that was supposed to, like, tell me how to do shit, wasn't it? Uh... I mean, like, it's... This isn't exactly rocket science. I think I can figure it out. That can't be right. It most certainly fucking can. No, that won't work. I, I love... So, you know, police officer, handyman, same so damn pipe thing, right? missing from Mr. Black's heater is the same one that killed him. Huh. Seems like the assailant is a little closer to home. Like somebody in the chat's like, uh, eight, 8250 for a water heater. I want to go back to the Ford. I, I need a time machine, but you'd be taking back modern money. And do you think no one would comment that, like, you'd be paying them in $1 bills that look nothing like the bills from the era? And also have a date of, like, 2010 on them. Do you think no one would say anything about that? Nobody noticed? I'm all right. No, detective. We found a receipt in the trunk of your husband's car for a live pig. This receipt was made out to an F. Morgan. A pig? Adrian runs a tool business. That would be Frank Morgan. Oh, she doesn't like God Frank Morgan. Up to. She is not a fan of Frank Morgan. I think she's telling the truth. What makes you say that about Morgan, ma'am? He's the foreman at my husband's plant. A very shady character. I told Adrian he needs to keep his distance from the staff. They're always out drinking together. <sighs> Kavanaugh's Bar. Your husband Nashville. frequents Kavanaugh's Bar? How did you know that? Oh my God! How how did you know? There after work. Uh, yes. So Adrian spends a lot of time there. Up until recently, he's been away in Seattle a lot on business. Um. Did your husband tell you where he was going last night? All he said was he was going to meet Frank for a drink. I, I don't see any different. Well, well, oh, shit. I never watched her long enough before to... So nothing out of the usual. I, I Like, I didn't... Well, he came home early from work. Oh, no. He never comes home early. It's because, uh, like, you sleep in separate bedrooms. Your husband's too. out of town a lot on business. He normally never leaves uh, the bar till about seven. He drinks pretty regularly. I mean, like... 
I hate to tell you, ma'am, I think your marriage is in trouble, and it's it's not just... Was your husband wearing his glasses when he left here yesterday? Yes, he just bought a new pair. Like, I don't think she's lying about wearing his glasses. It's just... Go on. I kept telling him to throw those old ones away. He tried to repair them. Like, that's them very me. misleading, because you have evidence terrible. that indicates she may be lying, but it's very reasonable. Yeah, the game mechanic to tell if they're lying is you have to watch them and look at your evidence. Tell us about the photo of Adrian in the bedroom. What is there to tell? It's from his oh, come most on. business trip to Seattle. Her voice? The shady look on it? Like, we know she's lying. There's plenty to tell. You just won't tell it. You're lying about the photograph, Mrs. Black. You're incredibly rude and insensitive. <laughs> yeah, I most certainly I am. you know that? I told you what I know about the picture. No, because you were really shady and pensive the moment I asked about the picture. What about Nicole, Mrs. Black? Was your husband going to leave you for her? Yes! Yeah, and she knows it! Look at that little nod! I've seen the photo frame. She's like, yeah. He thinks I'm stupid. But women sense these things. I don't know. If he intended to leave me, or if it was just the Ma'am, you sleep God in separate knows. bedrooms. He drinks I constantly. He's, he's shacking up with women in Seattle. He's leaving you. I think you should come clean with us, Mrs. Black. Your husband is missing, and after our search, I'm willing to call the circumstances suspicious. Can you account for your movements last night? You're not accusing me, are you? Oh, what an awful thing to say. I was here all night, of course, waiting for Adrian to come home. Is there anyone who can vouch I, for that? I, like her face didn't get well, weird. No. I, I was here alone. I cooked Adrian's dinner and waited. But he never came home. Of course he didn't. We'll keep you informed, Mrs. Black. Uh, we definitely will Please not. Do, like, detective. you will never hear from us again. I am, I am literally never coming back to your house. Uh. I mean, Sue, I, I, I get what you're saying. Sue's like, yeah, no, he wouldn't be leaving if he was comfortable because people will string people along for years if they think they can. But the fact he had, like, train tickets and there's a suitcase missing and we found his car covered in blood, I think that tells the story. Is there another street crime I can go to and, and destroy some shit that I, when I'm in route? And, wow, this is a big ass city I don't think I'd realized how big this city was okay let's take a right take a right take a left take a right on Alameda and then right after the next left I can take take that one okay Jesus I'm glad to be out of there Mr. and Mrs. Black don't seem to have the happiest home life he's too scared watch it it's okay He's too scared to divorce her, and she's too much of a shrinking violet to throw him out. If this hadn't happened, they could have stayed miserable together forever. You think she could have killed him? She sure as hell doesn't seem the type, but stranger things have happened. Where am I in relation to where I need to be? Okay, so I need to take a left at the next street. Street. 
All right, so where, where is it between this? Okay, so I want to take the next right. Yeah, next next major right. Because there's an officer who needs assistance. Shots fired. I get to go kill more people. Like, he's having a really effective day when it comes to murder. Like, how much ammo did they issue Cole Phelps when he left the station this morning? Sour. Three guns locked themselves in with two hostages. I tried to go on through the front, but this place is a fortress. I nearly got a mouthful of lead from my trouble. All right. I'll see if I can get in through the back. All right. I'll stay here and keep them busy. Let's go. Try the back. Once again, I feel that we are taking unnecessary risks. Where's the fucking back door to this place? Oh, it's literally in here. Fuck you, stairs are for losers. Let's kick in this door too. Reinforcements are on the way. See? don't think I need to be going up any fucking stairs, man. Like, why is this falling on me? Oh, he's got a hostage! Put the weapon down. Oh, no! Well. That went well. turned out fine I'm sure I'm sure it went okay see I was trying to shoot through his arm I was just trying to give him a flesh wound can I go back to that <laughs> can I uh, can I can I try that one again I feel like I should be allowed to do that one again Street officer needs help. 211, the shot's fired. Unit to Hamilco 3. He's, he's fine. What's the situation? Nearly a oh, flesh wound. Gun sour. Three guns locked themselves see, in. No, he actually hard. had a I gun to to on front, him. I saw it. Um, I nearly got a mouthful of lead so from my trouble. It's, All right. it's okay. Let's see if I can get it through it's the back. It's the right, I'll stay here and keep him busy. <laughs> Let's go. Let's run it back. Why is my partner so much faster than me? Throw out the guns. I, I just saw my partner shoot this guy. Stay in cover. Quick, up the stairs. Get after him. Okay, we gotta try this again. Hi! Put the weapon down now. You fucking ask for it. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, 
Just shot him once to get him away. And then fired a foot next to him. Oh. Oh. Oh, shit. Well, let's try that one again. Uh, we got a hold up gun sour. Three guns locked themselves in with two hostages. Oh. I tried to go on to the front, but the place is a fortress. <laughs> they should stop. Dr. Boxham, thank you for your 25th right. month of subscribing. They should really that. stop right. sending me to these calls. Let's go. Run back. Every man for himself. Hey, Bukowski. Oh. Stefan, you, you ever get a feeling like we've done this before? It ain't gone well. Oh. Like, it'd be great if the game just made you live with the guy. Weapons on the ground, now. Like, I would love it if the game just made you live with the consequences of your actions. Get after him. I kept my hat this time, though. Put the weapon down now. You want to back off right now. You fucking ask for it. It's the hat. The hat does it. And I shot him in the dick the second time. Uh, I mean, like, the, the hat and the dick shot. Those two things combined. Car 11K. I've been involved in a shooting at 333 South Main Street. Have many people have died for this hat. But the suspect is down. So let's see. Our first day as detective death count is corner. now at... Six. We've killed six people since we got out of bed this morning. You know what, Stefan? You, know the way. you take the wheel. Oh, my God. We just flat out murdered six fucking people since waking up this morning it's good though it's the 40s it's los angeles we're police officers it's to protect and serve the interests of smith and wesson hey i know you no you, no, don't. you don't oh great but you're real for nice. someone you know frank morgan sure frank's your regular he's a loner in the back that cherry pie was delish. Oh, was it? Frank Morgan? Who's asking? Uh, Cole Phelps, wait, wait. LAPD. I, I understand you're a friend of Adrian Black. Yeah, I know him. Are you aware that oh, he's this, missing? This is the creepiest no, motherfucker. No, I hadn't heard that. Tough break. Oh, I don't like you. We found Black's car abandoned in a freight depot covered in blood. You know anything about that, Morgan? Hell no. Uh, I, I'm sorry to hear that. I like Adrian. What it's, the fuck was that boss. face? Don't tell me you actually believe this jerk off. Is this folks. some Lenny from Mice and Men shit? What the? Oh? 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 What the fuck is that? What the fuck is your face? I mean, I know you're lying, but Jesus Christ. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't want to accuse him of
of anything. I just want to watch him go through his full range of facial emotions. Well, if it's all the same to you, I'll go back to my drink. No, it's not all the same to me. What, there's a timer? You're lying, Morgan. You were there. And you're talking out your ass, detective. How about you prove I was out at that rail yard? Oh. The game options read good cop, bad cop, accuse. That, that's literally all they read. You were there, Morgan. We found a receipt in the trunk of the car. It has your name on it. We can call the slaughter yard and nail you on it. All right, already. That fool Adrian's fallen for some dame in Seattle. He wanted me to make it look like he'd been attacked. Where exactly is Black holed up? No idea. I think he took off for Seattle. I'm tired of your shtick, Morgan. Oh Spill my it. God. Or we take you out in the alley and we knock it out of you. Just hold up at my place. We, by the way, you can't threaten to beat the shit out of a suspect to get a confession. Address. It's an apartment house at the corner of Temple and Figueroa. Apartment number two. I think that's all. Thanks for your help, Morgan. We appreciate it. Hey, I'm just glad I could help. I love cops. Cuff him, let him go. It's up to you, Phelps. There's no way I'm writing this idiot up. Somebody said, why is it in black and white? There is a... What do you think? You got Morgan's address? Let's get over to his apartment. I got drinking to do. You're getting nothing more from me. All right, where's my car? Is this my car? Haven't you ever read Calvin and Hobbes? I've met some pretty good liars in my time. Okay, is there another, another option to kill civilians? No. Okay. So I'm right here. I just guess I want to take a... Oh, shit. What would be faster? Uh, I guess a left, a right, and then a left on this road? People who sound convincing because they actually believe their own bullshit. <laughs> Type is clever. Hard to catch out. Frank Morgan is not one of those people. No, he is not. calling 11K. 11K, go ahead. Oh, you just... Roger, KGPL. So, yeah, like, um, you know, uh, the, it's, it's not human. It's most likely a pig. You know, something you already determined from the guy in the bar. Oh, wait, is there another option to kill civilians? Yes, there is. Well, we're going to pull a Yui and go take care of that. Fuck you. We try to get there I've one, got please. people to beat up. This is very important. Am I remotely near where I'm supposed to be? Yes. Okay, so I want to go up to second and take a left. Assuming that I even know where second is. Like, yeah, I know I should actually finish the mission we're on, because, like, we'll finish this mission tonight before uh, we end the end the game, but uh, for the evening. <laughs> Eleven K responding. Go ahead, KGPL. Well, you pennies is hiding from me. We'll find you all and eat you. Yes, sir. 
damn. Why did you play since have so much preparation age? Hemorrhoids! Ooh, wee! Benny's giving me speed. Oh, god damn it, I gotta chase someone. I don't understand why I have to chase everybody. Why'd you stop, dude? Get the hell down from there, you lunatic! Like, there's no set of circumstances in which you should have stopped. So that was relatively simple. Like we we just beat the shit out of that drug addict. And I'm certain he's going to go into a nice rehab program to treat him for his addiction so he can become a functioning member of society and not go, oh wait, it's the 40s. They're going to put him in a hellhole prison. Alright. Let's see if we can go finish this case. I'll even let my partner drive so we get there quicker. Hold on. You're behind the wheel. Like, by the way, that is the first encounter with a suspect today where I haven't killed them. Like every other suspect on these calls that I've encountered, just dead. Just, just shot them straight out. Could have ran through. Nope. Do I get to shoot this guy? Well, let's check the place out. Come on. Apartment two. Yeah, they, they already told me apartment two, but okay. Like I was already aware of what apartment I needed to head to. What apartment is this? That is one. That is two, right there. Help you gentlemen? LAPD detectives, Mr. Black. You're under arrest. Look. Listen, Drew Carey. Really sorry about this. The price is fucking I never tried wrong. to hurt anyone. It's I just time. needed to get away from LA. I won't put up a struggle. Just He's got let me get my things. This fat man's got a book. There he goes. Phelps, go after him. I'll try and hit him off in the car. Remember, the gun is the last resort. I mean, like, it should be the first option, though. You've you've no worked with running me all day. I feel like after working Mr. with me Black, all day, back here right you should now. be very aware of the fact that the gun is not the last resort for us. It's over, Adrian. Why not just come clean with her, Black? Why the melodrama? I thought it would be easier. No, it just got a whole lot harder. Adrian Black, you're under arrest for conspiracy and fraud. There you we'll go. See what the DA has Somebody to say in the chat about asked, police what would you get him on? And, and there you go. Like this. You're going to lose your wife, lose your job, and probably end up in the big house. I hope she was worth it, Adrian. Oh, I don't get to interrogate him? Like, that's it? That's that's how we end it? That turned out to be quite some case, huh? Adrian, what an idiot. You got an arrest and a clearance in your first case, and in fine style, too. Well done, detective. Efficient investigation technique, good public presence. You keep that up, and you <laughs> learn from Bukowski here. You could go a long way in this Just department. Just not going to talk about the six people I murdered today, huh? And the one guy I hit with my car. I, like, plowed into him pretty fucking good. Vehicle damage. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh! It... <laughs> 
$4,285 in vehicle damage. The one dude I hit, 50 bucks. They just gave him 50 bucks. He's good. He's good. It's okay. All right. Well, that will do it for tonight's stream. <laughs> Thank you all for joining me. Uh, we'll wait for it to save, obviously, uh, so, so that I don't have to replay that mission tomorrow night. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Oh, come on. Come on, because I got I actually, I have to wait for it to save and load before I stop it. Wow. And you know what? Even with all the side stuff, we still got done uh, in the one hour that we had allotted to it. So uh, there we go. That will do it for tonight's stream. Uh, thank you all so much for joining me. We will be back tomorrow night at 7 o'clock again. We, we're going to stream a little while longer tomorrow. We're not going to stream since it's a Friday. Uh, we're going to stream a little while longer. We're probably going to stream for two, two and a half hours of this uh, starting at 7 o'clock. Uh, and then we will not be here on Saturday. I have guests coming over for Labor Day. Uh, and we're going to go to the store and do a bunch of stuff with them. Uh, and then we will be back for at least an hour or so on Sunday. And on Labor Day, we're going to do a special stream during the day. Watch Twitter for that. Uh, as always, if you like the shit we do here, you can support us by becoming a Patreon supporter over at uh, patreon.com slash lawyersandliquor. The shit postcards went in the mail today uh, for our Patreon supporters, which is a postcard that I mail out once a month to you of one of my horrible photoshops. Uh, you can always toss your bits all up in our faces because we are Twitch affiliates. Uh, you can subscribe using Twitch Prime. If you're an Amazon Prime member, you get a free Twitch subscription each month. I'd love for you to use it here. You can go to boozybadger.com, check out the merch there. We have shirts, we have mugs. Uh, I think there's other shit I'm not sure. Or you can slide a tip into the bank account. Just the tip, though, I don't want to get pregnant. If you don't want to do any of that shit, though, don't worry about it. I do this because, once again, I have found my joy and bringing you a little entertainment in your evenings after my month away. Uh, so the best way is to come back, check us out tomorrow at 7 p.m., bring friends with you if you want, uh, and just hang out. So uh, from me to you, thank you for coming into my home tonight, and thank you for inviting me into yours for the last hour. Uh, until tomorrow at 7 p.m. as we continue with more L.A. Noir, I am Boozy. You are not. You have a wonderful evening. Good night.